carrying a loyal message, a team of six cyclists starts from the Mansion House in London on the first lap of a great relay ride around Britain. Successive teams of riders will carry it from town to town. On Jubilee Day, the last relay will bear the message to His Majesty. Women's test matches in cricket and now again women in soccer. Two teams of girls meet in a match at Darlington for a National Union of Railwaymen charity. It's such a ladylike affair, most genteel. Gertie the goalie gets the ball pretty often and clears gracefully. Thank goodness for half time. A little puff between kicks goes such a long way. Penalty. Oh boy, girl, what a shot and what a chance for the Spurs to get new players. One day in the year when the horse proves that he's as popular as ever despite motor cars and Mr. Belisha is the annual parade in Regent's Park of the London Van Horse Society. The event is evergreen in popularity and each year thousands of lovers of horses turn out to watch the judging. Entries come from big firms down to humble street traders of London's markets. It's a typical Cockney festival. Bakers, greengrocers, cats, meat men, laundrymen and coal merchants. It's their day. This little fellow wins a prize for a Wilsdon fishmonger. Sir Kinaston Stud in robes of office, acting for the Lord Mayor of London, distributes the prizes. War there, he's frisky. General Sir William Pulteney hands a volume of signatures to the Menin Gate, last post fund to the Burgomaster of Ypres. Three hundred men of the Surrey branch of the British Legion visit the Menin Gate Memorial. The branch has endowed forever the sounding of the last post and every night this famous call will now echo through the arch across the battlefields of Flanders. Flags of all nations are unfurled at Stratford on Avon during the colourful celebrations of the birthday of Shakespeare, and hundreds of floral tributes are brought to the grave of the bard. These jolly girls who sold flowers in Stratford streets wear period costume. People came from all over the world to swell the crowd which paid tribute to the memory of the great poet and playwright. This is the lovely Shakespeare Memorial Theatre on the banks of Avon, where a festival of the Bard's plays is held. We don't know why they do it, but we suppose these motorcyclists enjoy this competition, graced by the name of a hill climb at Rosedale in North Yorkshire. Only the motorbikes complain a bit. The crowd revel in the fun. The stewards have a harrowing time. The cyclists also harrow through mud and rock. Is the idea, of course, is to go up, not down. Real nerve is needed in this dangerous road race. The pick of Europe's racing drivers give amazing performances in handling their cars in the famous Monaco Grand Prix. Through narrow winding streets of Monaco, Beausoleil and Monte Carlo, a hundred laps round a twisting, tortuous course, 198 miles in all. Europe's fastest cars are driven at such a pace that only nine finish out of 15 starters. Fagioli, an Italian, at the wheel of a giant Mercedes-Benz, wins from two Alfa Romeos and a Maserati at 59 miles an hour after dazzling driving. 